Now, how to eliminate anxiety, stress, and depression? Again, I'm going to go, go over those things real fast, and then we're going to work on it. We're going to actually do it. Um, I found that um, anxiety, stress, and depression are actually uh, directly related to uh, those qualities of energies. Uh, if our quality of energy is very, very low, if we are only working on horizontal uh, information, and the only way we could feel satisfied is if we jump from one knowledge to another knowledge. That's what we tend to do with more, and go to more courses. And it's okay, it gives us something, but it's always not enough. Uh, then we find, it, it's really how the energy is, and then we find that we have anxiety and stress and depression. Um, I found a direct connection between that energy of horizontal kind uh, to uh, the anxiety aspect because to be able to get more information, to be able to get more information from the same knowledge, we need to have a much higher quality of energy, which actually physically awakens stem cells in the brain. It's called neurogenesis. Neurogenesis. It's a, it's a brand new science, just a few years they started talking about the connection between neurogenesis and anxiety, anxiety and stress and depression. If that neurogenesis, if new brain cells are not created by awakening stem cells in the brain, then we cannot create brand new connections in the brain. Every time you create a, a new cell in the brain, you right away create billions and billions and billions of new possibilities to understand the same information. If the new cell is not born, then information is allocated from one to the other. And it cannot create that new ability. Those of you who know computer science, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. You introduce another unit, and then suddenly you can resolve things you could never resolve before. And very, very fast. And you see more things in the same information. Our internal system, our body, is programmed to always require from us not the horizontal kind of energy, but the vertical kind of energy. So it can constantly create new brain cells. So it can constantly understand the world differently, the same way differently. That's shifting in, 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 in dimension. That's, that's what happens. But it can only happen if the quality of the energy is sufficient. And therefore, our body, our system, gives us a signal. We, it has a signal. When Neurogenesis doesn't happen. When, when that awakening of new brain cells doesn't happen, the signal is called anxiety, stress, and depression. That is a signal from our body. Now, many times in modern uh, world, we fight anxiety, stress, and depression by eliminating that signal. There is a way not to feel it, but all you've done is disconnect the alarm that was built there to, to, to encourage you to know, to guide you into where that neurogenesis is. Because the moment you're able to, to, to achieve the level of higher energy, anxiety, stress, and depression is gone. So, we resolve it. We can still resolve it. You see, uh, that survival level of a child inside of us is still existing. So that aspect of acquiring new knowledge still works for a very short period. 